Hello everyone, with the technical support of Sony and the patronage of the life of a video editor, the largest Facebook group of filmmakers in Italy, welcome to a new episode of Reviews in my own way, today for the first time in English. Today, as often happens, we will see my irreplaceable Sony A1 at work, coupled with products that I'm sure will arouse your interest. As a professional and a great lover of photography, over the years I have had the opportunity to try out and buy a lot of equipment related to my work. I have always had a particular fondness for lenses. I think they are one of the cornerstones around which a very important part of the aesthetics of images revolves. Despite owning a lot of lenses, I have recently been in the mood for the Cook look, more specifically that of the Speed Bancrost. How is it possible to create a mini set of lenses with the above characteristics without having to sell a kidney? Many years of research and tests have introduced me to photographic lenses with similar look. I'd like to open a parenthesis. I love disassembling and repairing lenses. I know very well the limitation of vintage photographic lenses, especially for video use. In fact, especially for the most exclusive and sought-after lenses, many have opted for the rehousing way, but it's still a rather costly option. So, how to do it? Many lenses produced in the past by a very famous German company are very reminiscent of the famous Cook look, but the problem I just mentioned still remains. Many will have already realized that I'm talking about Mayer Optic Gerlitz. Some people will turn up their noses hearing this name, and I will explain why in a moment. I'd like to point out that no one has paid me to speak for better or worse about this company. The lenses used in this episode were regularly purchased by me at full price. The story of Meyer Optic, founded in 1896 and known for the quality and special look of its lenses, has had its ups and downs over the years. After years of oblivion, in 2015, NetSE and Global BV, the brand's new owners, launched a successful Kickstarter campaign for a new trio plan 50 mils 2.9. In 2018, the company filed for bankruptcy, and everyone who invested in the Kickstarter campaign literally lost their money. In the same year, the brand was bought by the current owner, OPC Optics, who, with great effort, tried to put a new, completely redesigned line into production, knowing that they had to fight against the bad reputation inherited from the previous management. The company is currently based in Bad Kreuznach, design, development and entirely in Germany. The glass used is produced by Schott and the high-end mechanical parts are sourced from suppliers in the Wetzlar area, the same ones who also supply Leica. I bought the Trio plant 35mm 2.8 with 12 iris blades, the Prima plant 58 mils 1.9 with 14 iris blades, the Prima Plan 75 mils 1.9 with 15 iris blades, and the Trio Plan 100 mils 2.8 with 15 iris blades. Mayer Optic has other focal lengths in its catalog, all produced with a huge variety of mounts for all needs. These lenses are extremely compact with a very consistent look. The mechanical quality is excellent, and all lenses have the clicked iris aperture rings. These lenses have a double sole. Wide open, they retain detail, but present a look very similar to that created by Black Promise filters. By closing the iris a little, the Black Promise effect disappears, or is greatly attenuated, but the typical bubble bokeh remains thanks also to the large number of iris blades. Chromatic aberration, even at full aperture, is always well controlled. 
I also find the flare produced by these lenses very intriguing. They are certainly not lenses made for purely cinematographic purposes, but the modern mechanical parts allow a very good cinemoding and the excellent quality of shot glass does not make me regret far more expensive lenses. I am very satisfied with my purchase and I am happy to have a small set of lenses with a very special character. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode and before I say goodbye, I'd like to thank my daughter Marta for her precious help and also my wife Zirkin. Please comment down below, thanks for watching and see you next time. Ciao! Too hot in Italy.